So the internet has mixed answers for this question. Is it possible to get an A without studying? The answer is yes. How do I know? Because I'm going to give you six ways that you can get an A without studying right now. Okay, this is a video response to almost all of the other videos in this category. How to get an A without studying. Take a look. The two top videos are by girls who have millions of views on their video. And if you watch it, it's not about how to get an A without studying, it's just study tips. And if you watch it carefully, it's also product placement. You can actually get an A without studying. Let me clarify for a minute. They're not the best ways to get an A on a test, but who cares if you can get an A in your college course? That's the result you're looking for in the long run, isn't it? Okay, so the first way is controversial. The first way is to cheat your way through the entire semester. I do not recommend it, I do not promote it, but that doesn't mean that every single day people aren't cheating in college. If you're cheating your way through an entire semester's worth of class, you're going to have a lot bigger problems later on down the line when you start taking more advanced courses. The second way is what I call being a grade point average accountant, and it works best for classes where you just have one big exam at the end. Go online and determine what your grade is, and then factor in how much the final exam weighs. Once you do that, you can figure out what the minimum grade is you need to still get an A in the class. Even if you go into the test cold without studying, chances are you'll probably pull somewhere between a 20 and 50% grade. And if you can afford to do that with all of the other grades you've gotten throughout the semester, then you don't need to study. The third way is to choose the right course. There are so many courses out there, usually the electives, where they don't test you. There are no exams. Things like archery, bowling, ceramics, theater, capoeira, painting, poetry, drawing, glass blowing. And if you don't ever have an exam, you don't need to really study for these things. How do you even study for archery? The fourth way requires two things. The first is you have to find a professor who has a policy that says if you've got an A at the end of the semester, you don't need to take the final exam. The second thing is you need to have done very well in a subject in high school. Put those things together and you've got a course where you already know a lot of the content and really don't have to study, and at the end of the course, you can probably get an A, and because of the professor's policy, you will never have to open a book to study for your final exam. The fifth way is a way that I don't recommend because it costs a lot of extra tuition dollars and is just a time waster. But for some of you, failing a course the first time sets you up so that you really don't have to study a second time. Especially if you got 75% of the way through the course and something just fell apart in the end, you're already going to know the information. It's not that you're not studying, you already learned it the first time. The fifth way are for those people who drift their way through the semester and have somehow the natural talent to manage a B without doing any studying at all. But these people will immediately go to the professor after the final exam and plea their case. I had a really difficult time this semester because my grandmother died. No, no, my other grandmother. No, I only have two. Well, I saw the grade that you gave Tina and Tina and I work together all semester long, and we think we're just as smart as each other. I think I should have the same grade as Tina at least, right? I'm pregnant. Show me a male professor who's going to even argue with that one. These are what I call grade point attorneys. The grade point attorneys will talk to the professor and they will make sure that the professor knows just how hard they tried or what challenges they absolutely had to overcome just to make it to class every day. They're preying on the professor's goodwill in hopes that they'll pad the grade a little bit and put them into the A level. They basically lawyer their way into getting an A. Okay, quick disclaimer. While we're talking about different ways to get an A without studying, these ways can sometimes fail. The best way to get an A in a course is to study. If you like this video, hit the like button and leave a comment. 
help push this video up beyond all those silly study tips that don't even address how you can get an A without studying. These other videos that are above us shouldn't be there. Do it with me now. View the most money back for your books. Some places on the internet will give you